this movie was by and large, and I'm sure that a lot of people that have seen the movie have made this comment, but um, for me this was a really surprisingly professional experience. I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> take that backhanded compliment. It's take it, take it and like it. Um, Resident Horror Blog. Hey everybody! Starting uh, this week and the uh, next few blogs in the weeks to come, we're going to be kind of doing some uh, behind-the-scenes interviews with some of the cast members since uh, we're not really filming anymore and. Uh, blogs about editing would get old uh, pretty quickly, but um, this week we're going to be starting with a, uh, a familiar face uh, with Xtrick Studios and a, uh, uh, an old friend of mine who I've known from way, way back. Uh, my name is David Ottavino and I played Clyde Peeling. The character came about, uh, he was one of the original characters of Resident Horror. He's a complete, what's, what's the word? Yeah. Ebenezer Scrooge is, he's a misanthrope, that's it. Uh, Clyde's, Clyde's a bit misanthropic. He's kind of a, a, a fixture of the Spars team, um, based in part on uh, the Shikamaru character from Naruto. He's hilarious because he hates to be bothered by anything. He's in this high-stress job um, where a lot of people depend on him. Uh, and he, it's, he just can't be bothered with anything. But he's not lazy. He does his job well. He's just irritated at the fact that he has to do it at all. We uh, we had the idea that we wanted the the main the team leader to appear in this way, but we didn't have a name um, until we were driving up Route 15 uh, in Pennsylvania, where uh, there's there's an attraction that we pass every time we head. South, uh, which is pretty frequently, so we see this. Uh, we see this place a lot. It's a reptile zoo called Clyde Peeling's Reptile Land, and just sort of in uh, in honor of of this attraction, we uh, slightly altered the spelling of the name and uh, dubbed the character thus. Of course, uh, Dave was in River City Rumble, our first movie. And we've tried to get him back uh, involved with Extract Studios in various capacities since then, but it just never worked out because he's always just been so busy. Um, I'm an actor, uh, professionally. It's my career. It's what I do for a living. Uh, since River City Rumble, I uh, started acting full-time. Uh, no, no side jobs, no night jobs, no day jobs, whatever. Um, I work in... I have worked in uh, professional theaters, professional theater companies in New York State, in New England, um, sort of in the northeast, here in the northeast area of the United States. Uh, I am, I became a member of the Actors Equity Association, which is the theater version of the Screen Actors Guild, the sister unions. Um, so yeah, that is actually what I do for a living. Went to school for it, got a degree, and I hope this doesn't make people think, wow, he should be a lot better <laughs> in the films. You know, like, oh really? I thought everyone in the film was, was just an amateur actor. He does this for a living? Wow, I'm, I'm, I'm not impressed anymore. I thought he was great for an amateur, but he's, he's a pro. I wouldn't pay him money to do that. That's what I'm afraid people will think. Yeah. Now, well, it's good that we don't pay you money then. Exactly. I'm <laughs> thrilled that you don't pay me money.